Hey there Aquarius! Welcome or welcome back to Stars Aligned Oracle YouTube channel. Kat Star here with your general reading for the week of October 4th through October 10th. As always, my readings are general in nature and may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't. For those of you that are liking and sharing the videos, thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I do want to remind you that we will be pulling a fortune from Zaltar at the very end of this reading, so do be sure to stay till the end to get your fortune for the week, Aquarius. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in here. That one did not actually come out. Let's see what is coming in. What is happening? What's going on this week for you here, Aquarius? Let's see. I'm going to get all the cards out and then we will dive deep in and ooh, 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 ooh. see what is going on. Actually, two cards came out there. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Let's see what else. What else does Aquarius need to know this week? What else does Aquarius need to know? What's coming in? What do they need to see? What do they need to hear? What else does Aquarius need to know? These ones are being a little bit stubborn. So maybe there's some stubborn energy coming in this week there, Aquarius, for you or around you. Good to take note of if you are being stubborn about something. Uh, maybe kind of figure out why you might be being stubborn. And if somebody else is being stubborn, you know, maybe check out if there's something... That needs to be communicated. That would release some stubbornness. Maybe, you know, maybe something just needs to be discussed or talked out that will release that stubbornness there. All right, beautiful. Let's get one more of these ones. One more. One more. Your very first card out, Aquarius, is the Sun card. This is the one that wants to go out. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I love this energy, Aquarius. Beautiful. Beautiful energy for you this week. Let's get one more card here, Spirit. One more card. What does Aquarius need to... Oh, well, there it is. Okay. All right. All right, Aquarius. Your card... Your card... Your reading starts out with a huge card. Some say this is the best card in the tarot deck, the sun. And isn't that beautiful? Look at, oh my gosh, all that beautiful, brilliant color. This gorgeous, gorgeous um, sun, vibrant, very, very bright, very, very gorgeous energy here, Aquarius. The sun really, really represents vitality, represents joy and success. So there is a lot of joy coming in. There's a lot of success coming in this week, Aquarius, that you are really, really going to be taking all in. Kind of um, as this image that's depicted in the card, arms are open up into the sky. This one's not, but this one is open up into the sky, taking that all in. It's like that energy is just embracing this um, person that's being depicted in the card, that brilliant, beautiful, beautiful imagery there, Aquarius. That is joy. That is success. That is beautiful, beautiful celebrate, celebration, celebratory energy coming through here and a lot of pleasure and happiness. This is also a card that represents enlightenment, connection, really, really having deep, potent connections, feeling enlightened, having aha moments, breakthroughs, understandings, knowledge, awareness, Aquarius, all of that is coming in. All of that is open. All of that is available for you this week. This is such gorgeous energy to begin this reading with in yeah, it's beautiful energy to be part of. It's beautiful energy to be in. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and look at the next card that you have here. You have the three 
of Wands and the Three of Wands really looks at um, looking ahead and expansion. This looks at really or represents really, really kind of seeing that big picture and feeling into that bigger um, idea or that bigger kind of imaginative state, being there, being part of it, being aware of it. And it's also really about rapid growth and movement. So um, you see that there's a lot of water or what potentially could be water. It's a very purple card, um, but she does have her board here. And this is rapid movement, rapid growth, Aquarius. So that enlightenment with the sun card and then that rapid movement, moving forward, growth, kind of really, really um, looking ahead, expansion, and a lot of confidence, Aquarius. There's a lot of confidence in these two cards. You are really stepping into your most confident self. And the next card you have here is health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So for some of you, your health is going to take a turn for the better this week, Aquarius. Some things potentially, you know, um, are going to maybe be healed miraculously, or you're going to maybe get some test results back and find out that the um, whatever it was for is negative or is um, is not what maybe was thought to be in the beginning. It's very minor is what's coming through. So beautiful, beautiful energy, a beautiful message there, Aquarius. And now the next card you have here is purpose. I know what I am here to do. Your purpose finds you, Aquarius. It always does. And sometimes it seems like it's such a small thing, but it means such a big thing to other people. It is a very, very big thing to others, Aquarius. So your purpose, your reason for being here, no matter what that may be, is valuable. And you are valuable, Aquarius. You are being reminded, Spirit is reminding you that everything that you put out there is reciprocated by you and that you are putting out beautiful, sunny energy, that you are vibrant, that you are loving, that you are joyful, that you are such a blessing to have and to be around Aquarius and your purpose is really shining through you and to others this week. That's beautiful energy Aquarius. The next card that you have is perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to Aquarius. So spirit is reminding you don't give up. Don't ever stop. Keep moving forward and do that with an attitude of love and of service. Whenever you persevere, whenever you have this don't quit attitude, it really, really moves mountains and brings into reality whatever it is that you are actually kind of seeing the bigger picture of, what you might be kind of um, stepping into as far as the growth goes. It really brings in um, all of that beautiful, beautiful Three of Wands energy, looking ahead, the expansion, that perseverance really, really does a no quit, no um, kind of give up attitude really moves you forward. And that also is the same with your purpose. When, when we are, or when you Aquarius are really, really honed in on your purpose, you can move mountains again moving mountains this week, Aquarius. And then, oh, I just said something just like this. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. So this message is directly to you, Aquarius, from spirit. Of course it is. They all are, but this is for um, the new moon in Aquarius. So this is specifically for Aquarius here. Bring love into the situation. So the sun is a very, very vibrant energy, and it is the high vibe of love. Now there is a kind of a scale that's out there and they say that joy is the highest, although some would um, really disagree and, and um, feel that love would be the highest vibration on that scale. I'll actually uh, look up that scale and tell you guys what scale I'm referring to um, in a different video, but bring love into the situation. Everything that you do your purpose, your health, 
your uh, the perseverance, the expansion, all of that, the successes, the joys really, really do um, really encompass love, that love that you feel for yourself, the love that you feel for others, the love that you share within the world, the giving, the receiving, all of that really, really is being called into this week for you, Aquarius, opening up, being that beautiful light for others and for yourself, really, really knowing that your purpose is here for you, that perseverance is what is going to get you over any mountains that might be coming up. Your health is actually um, either taking a turn for the better or you're going to get test results back that are going to be negative or are going to show that it is whatever was thought to be isn't actually what is going on, that it is not as severe as potentially or as um, kind of bad, which I don't like to use the word severe or bad, but um, as maybe was first thought that it really, really isn't. And that's beautiful news. And you will share that love, feel that love and continue Aquarius bringing that love into the situation, pouring that love out all around you and it will be reciprocated and sent right back to you Aquarius. Beautiful energy for you this week. So you have a lot of um, amazing things coming in this week Aquarius. Let's go ahead and check out Zaltar here and see what your fortune for the week is. What is the fortune? Let's see what Zaltar has to add. This, now this might go right along with the reading or it might be a standalone fortune for you for this week Aquarius. Let's see what this fortune is for you. Oh, there it is. All right, let's see. It says, number seven, your fortune. What a joy to look ahead to read into the signs of your future. That is basically, right, expansion, forward sight, forward thought. Uh, so much happiness is in store for you that the most brilliantly lighted stars will be put to shame by the brightness of your life. I love that, Aquarius, because you are the star. Uh, this is not all caused by sheer good luck. Nay, nay, my friend. Your perseverance. Look at that. Your perseverance. Yes, it's beautiful. Um, your clever ways of handling your domestic problems and your sincerity in dealing with others are pointing the way to their reward. Oh, happiness, what an elusive thing you are, but thank God you were born beneath its star. What a beautiful, what a beautiful fortune for this week, Zaltar. Thank you. Your lucky numbers are 11, 30, 31, 42, 12, and nine Aquarius in this card, this fortune is really, really reminding you that you are the most brilliantly lighted star and that, um, thank you, you were born beneath its star. Two different parts here in this fortune from Zaltar, all about you Aquarius. That's beautiful, beautiful energy and a beautiful fortune, a beautiful reading overall. I do intend this resonated with you, Aquarius. If it did, please do hit that like button and share this video. Again, it does help others be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. Do be sure to check out the video. Uh, that'll be at the very end of the video here. Um, that I posted yesterday or just look back on the channel for yesterday's video for Sunday's video uh, that does say challenge video poll I think in part of the title go ahead and check that one out and place your vote for the October challenge and as always I do wish you lots of hope joy and love with all of your current and future endeavors I'll see you in the next reading